Welcome everybody to part 6, episode 18 of the Payphone Hits. Alright, the moment you've been waiting for, this my friends, is the conclusion of the complete 18 solo Payphone Hits. But before we get started, as always, make sure to click the subscribe button to continue watching more exciting tutorials that are sure to be entertaining, refreshing, stimulating, non-filling, and less fattening. Unless, of course, you're watching this video while chowing down on a sloppy cheeseburger with fries and a cola, in which case all bets are off. And stop tripping on the keyboard, it's not a good look. Okay, Franklin, what do you got for us today? Hey, I will give you this target's name, but I know you haven't heard it before. Well, I'm sure nobody's heard of this name because everybody walks away when they first hear it. Ever think of that, Franklin? No, I didn't think so. So this particular hit, in my humble opinion, is the most challenging of the hits. It can be downright frustrating at times, but we will persevere and get through this, of course, with some tips and tricks thrown in. Okay, for those that have not realized yet, this is the truck cab hit. What we need to do first is locate the target car, identified by the red icon in the minimap. Then you'll get a pop-up message saying you need to locate the vehicle that can be used to help complete the assassination bonus, which will be the truck cab, the semi, the big 18-wheeler, which in this case is actually 10. But anyway, the infuriatingly slow, diesel-pushing hunk of iron we call our truck cab. Now, throughout this video, you're going to hear me vent on some of the aforementioned pain points I've found in this particular hit. Here is number one. This might just be happening to me. Let me know in the comments if you agree. But once you've started this hit and located the target, you have to wait a while for the truck cab location to come up on the minimap. It's been 45 seconds since we located the target, and still... Oh, there we go. It finally pops up. <sighs> I don't know. Is this just me, or is that an awfully long time to be waiting for a vehicle? A vehicle, I might add, that you need to use to chase down the target car. And, oh, by the way, is also slower than a herd of turtles stampeding through peanut butter. Alright, vent number two. You now need to fly to the area and locate the truck cab. And although the Popstar Police Cruiser had you fly to the question mark area as well, finding this truck has oftentimes been, well, annoying. Whereas a police cruiser always seems to be out in the open, Rockstar seems to have gotten their jollies by hiding the truck. As you can see here, I'm like, where the hell is this? Oh, oh, Rockstar. They parked it, like, inside the building, hiding it. You can probably tell by now that this is not my favorite hit, which is why I put it at the end. And time to focus. Okay, enough of the venting. For now. Uh, what you want to do is locate the target and catch up to him. As I've mentioned in my previous two videos, you can anticipate where the target will be heading based off the knowledge gained from previous hits of the same variety. Alright, let me respond to what I'm sure everyone out there is thinking right now. Why don't you just use a Phantom Wedge, if you have one? Well, you certainly can. If you want to simply chase a target around for 10 minutes and not receive a bonus... Yeah, you cannot use the Phantom Wedge for this hit. You will inflict absolutely no damage to the target's car. You must use the vehicle provided. And as you can see here, my frustration levels always rise when I perform this hit. So I like to calm my nerves, perform a few yoga moves, and begin to nail and bail as many NPCs as I can. Okay, we have located the target's car. It is now time for a copious amount of tips and tricks. First tip. Although it's going to feel very tempting, you do not want to just speed up as fast as you can, hitting this car from behind, hoping that speed alone will deliver victory. It will not. You're simply going to spin out, hit other vehicles or objects, and have to regroup a million times just to make that one hit. Instead, what you want to do, as you're seeing here, is get alongside the target's car and run them off the road. Your goal is to wedge them against something. A wall, a building, anything that will allow you to either give them the rub down, like I'm doing here, or better yet, get them trapped between objects so you can line them up and T-bone them until they explode. Okay, last vent. <laughs> I promise. If you remember, with a previous police car hit, there was a progress bar, letting you know how close you were to destroying the target. In this hit, you get nothing. That's right, you have absolutely no idea how much damage you're inflicting on the target's car. You just gotta keep on trucking until it explodes. 
All right, here's the biggest tip for this hit. If possible, you want to run the target's car off the main road into an area that, well, is not meant for traffic. Well, let me explain. If you can send the car over a fence, a guardrail, even a minimally fenced-in storefront or parking area, what I've found is that the target's car will just stop. The amount of AI they put into this target's car is on par with a toaster oven. Outside of simply driving down the road and maintaining its programmed route, the car will just stop if there's no easy access to get back on the road from which it came. What does this mean? You can usually get into this unknown area quite easily and just pick your favorite finishing move to dispose of the target any way you wish. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Exhibit A. As you just saw, I was able to run this car over a barrier, quite easily I might add, onto the grassy hill below. Now at this point, the target simply needs to drive down the hill onto the road below and leave me for dead. But as you're seeing here, the car just stops. So what do I do? What else but exercise my superior 18-wheeler driving skills ahem, and casually find a way to get to the target's car? At this point, it's like shooting fish in a barrel, stealing candy from a baby, easy as pie. How is pie easy? And if pie is easy, what dessert would be difficult? Anyway, as you're witnessing my expert level driving techniques, I can easily line the target's car up and deliver the finishing blow. Now, oh, maybe one more blow will do it then. Well, get it. Oh, no, that, that was it. It uh, delayed reaction. All right. There you have it, folks. We have reached the end. Thank you all for tuning in to each of these 18 solo payphone hit tutorials. And if you haven't, please head to my channel and check them out. Or just drop a comment. Let me know what you like to see next. Hey everyone, I've enjoyed this tremendously and can't wait to bring you more videos in the future. This has been a blast, for sure. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Click on the like button and make sure to subscribe. Until next time, be happy, be well, be safe, be mighty, be the one. Oh, maestro!